Hi, this is Debbie Donovan from Londonderry, New Hampshire with Being Happy Stamping with Debbie. You asked for me to do the seashells stamp today to make cards with it. So it's Friends Are Like Seashells. So here's the stamp set. Sorry you forgot a little shine from the camera, from the lighting there, but I'm going to do... I'm really into fancy folds right now, so I'm going to do two fancy fold cards for you, and I hope you really like them, because I do. And I have a couple of little hints for you about the cards, so I'll talk to you about those, and I have some samples to show you. So here we go. Let me turn you down. And so I won't be able to see who joins, but I'll answer the comments after. Mm. That looks straight. Okay. When you first get, take the um, die out, it looks like this. And this is the shimmery paper, the specialty paper. So I cut, cut it out. And then you get this shape. And then you're going to cut your, to stamp your seashells on it. And after that, you're going to do embossing on it, but I'll stamp the seashells on the other one first. And I forgot, oh, I have it right here. Because the stamps, the seashells are, this stamp set is photopolymer, you want to use your stamping mat. And I like to leave my covers on. I do have it open so it has air that can get into it. Um, I've already got the uh, stamps all on their um, acrylic blocks so it makes it easier for me. One thing that's not easy is how to get these open. And I find if you push a little bit in the back, sometimes it helps. And then you just slide it open. And the blue shell I want is the very baby one. Oh, actually, I want two blue shells. So it's going to be a little bit hard to line it up here. Today's the first day I'm using the microphone because I noticed that on the replays you can't always hear what I'm saying clearly. Um, so I went and bought a microphone. But I should have got a cordless because I have a cord running around. So there's the two blue ones. I hope you can see that. I don't need that one anymore. And the pink. I didn't find the name of the shells. My librarian daughter forgot to get me a seashell book. And I forgot to remind her. I thought about it when she was at work. I should have just called her. Yeah. With photopolymer, it's pretty easy to just line them up. <laughs> Especially if you can have them over your head. But I can, looks like I'm doing okay. I'm off a little bit, but it's okay. I can trim it when it comes to, because you have to do cutting. There's not a die that cuts the individual shells. 
and then I want yellow. This looks kind of like a crab shell, but it's a very big shell. It's one of the bigger shells, so it's not a crab shell. This one here is a, kind of like a conch shell. This is a spiral shell of some sort. I only know a clam shell, and this is a scallop shell. One probably an oyster and a scallop shell. I'm not sure. I used to go clamming with my parents on Sundays at Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. If anyone's familiar with that. And I used to like to rub their bellies to make them squirt the water out. Because I didn't do the clamming. They did my grandfather and my parents and my brothers liked to dig with those big clamming forks. They look like a pitchfork with a hook on the pitchfork end, but then it had a big hook handle, and they just dig where all the holes were, because that's where the clam beds were, how you could tell the clam beds were there. But the sea worms were really scary looking things. They were all um, kind of like a, a centipede. They have a million legs and I don't like those things at all. Of course, my brothers used to like to scare me with them. Typical brothers. We used to go deep sea fishing on Saturdays out of Rye Harbor, and um, they probably didn't like it because I was the youngest and the only girl, and the name of our boat was the Miss Deborah. So that's all the shells there are on here, but they're seagrass. What I like to do with the seagrass, and I didn't do it on my other one, so I'll do it now, is um, I sponged the pieces that I thought I could use because what you're going to do is you're going to take out the... Um, you're going to cut out the shells, and this one's going to need to dry. So I have some... I've already done it. I haven't done this... Um, Paper. I was doing my samples in um, just the Whisper White paper. But you just dab your sponge, and I know I can use this piece, this whole top piece. So this right here, this color right here is um, soft sea foam. And it just gives it a a little bit of color instead of it all being. It's almost like an ivory, a bisque color. It's very pretty. Uh, but I have to say, I really like the Whisper White shells as well. They come out darker. And then the second color I use is Pear Pizzazz. I kept everything in the Subtles collection because all my shells were in the Subtles. And the colors I found for the shells were from the, um, on the back of your um, DSP, your Design a Series paper. Package usually lists the colors that are in the um, package. And that go nice so you can use your cardstock colors. So this is the Pear Pizzazz. It's not a lot darker, but it's a little bit darker. And then down here, there's the green you can use. Just this one curl. And all right. 
I gotta let them dry a little bit. So after, and the fold is okay because I glue them. And I noticed it folds easy. I should be doing it a little bit slower, but I have a lot to do today. So we'll let those dry because the paper is, like I said, it's a specialty paper and it's a pearlescent type paper. So you want it to dry all the way. Put that over there. And we'll start making the first card, at least part of it, because those are the pieces I wanted to use for some of it. So we'll get the bones of it put together. Uh, you need a bone folder, speaking of bones. Megan, do you have a bone folder? Um, I had it earlier. I will find it. My daughter's home today for a little while. She has to leave to go to work, but she's going to grab me one. That's the only thing I didn't get. This has a lot of pieces, but don't let it scare you. I know some of my friends that are new. Oh, here it is. I found it. Thank you. Just in time, she found the same as another one. So um, I know I've intimidated a lot of my friends on that are new to card making, but I also have a lot of friends that are not new to card making, so I try to show simple cards and complicated cards because I don't want my friends that are not new to card making to get bored watching my videos. Making sure I have all my pieces. But I have been seeing this and wondering how to do it for a long time. And this is called um, a fourfold fun fold. Try saying that four times fast. And you want to use the, the heaviest um, adhesive that we have is called um, Terran Tape. And you're going to want to use that right along the edge. It's only a quarter of an inch wide. I did forget to write down all my measurements on this. Um... They will be in the bottom of the, I will attach them in the description on um, the YouTube video and also on the, when I put the picture up, pictures up on our face, on our um, Be Happy website, which is B-E-E -E, happy cards and crafts dot com. And you just peel it, and that leaves the sticky. And you're gonna wanna just put that piece right along. It's already scored at a quarter of an inch. I need to get my silicone craft sheet here. And you just line it up right along the score mark. And then make it tight with the bone folder. And then you're going to bring in your little snips and go right down to that mark. And you're going to snip it. I didn't go quite far enough on this side. I'm 
You just want to get rid of that little piece. Well, let me see if I can get this folded right. I think I put it on the wrong side. Well, it's going to be um, covered with paper, so it doesn't really matter. So it goes this way. And in card crafting, it's called Mountains and Valleys. So it's just accordion folded. And the back one. So unfortunately, I ha I, it'll show a little bit on the front, but it won't matter too much. Now, I have my little pieces here. I gotta find my... everything for each piece. Hopefully I have the pink mats. Here's one. I should have had two. And I do not. That's for a different card, Meg. Could you cut me a pink mat? Um, powder pink. Uh, um, Blushing Bride, sorry. At Two and a half by four. And I have my stamp and seal back. Working perfectly. Two and a half by four. It's probably one of the scraps I put. <laughs> I have a box of scraps that I haven't put away in my uh, file cabinet yet. And... Oh, it was working perfectly. Just push down. Thank you, Megan. I'm lucky to have Megan. She's my do it all. Just put some stamp and seal on that. And you're just gonna mat the front. You probably can't see it. Let me open it up so you can see it. You just kind of put it evenly. And if you share this video with your friends, just let me know. I have five cards that I can send out. So somebody will get this card if they let me know they shared it. So I'll pick the first five people that tell me they shared it. And it's okay if you tell me on the replay because I'm a half hour earlier than normal. I just got excited today. I thought that I usually do them at 12, and I said, well, I'm ready, so I'm going to just go ahead and do them. And I know that I need to get up further in camera. So that's my second mat. I'm going to decorate it after because I want to get my shells ready. So I'm just going to put the mats all on. I do want to... I don't lose my little 
for you. It's going to go on the front. The cards that I made, all the Christmas cards I made, I actually sent them out <laughs> for Christmas cards this year. All the samples I made. So that was fun. And my next cards for um, the next thing I do for next week is going to be Valentine's Day because that's coming up quickly. And I do have some one Valentine set. I didn't buy the second one. I did buy the second one, but it's not coming in till um, it's on my next order. So I doubt that it'll be here in time. But I have enough. I'm coloring paper right now because the paper is black and white. And it's very pretty. So I got half the set. I didn't get the whole set. And because this card's going to open up this way now, that's it folds all together. And that's the front I used. I love these sea urchins. That shall I know. I don't know why, but I do. I think it's just because it's a pretty shell. We know what clam shells look like, um, crab shells, lobster shells. Snails. Sand dollars. I do have sand dollars that I'm gonna be showing you. Starfish. And this is starting to go off again. This is that same um, thing, and it didn't give me any problems for the other four cards that I made. I don't understand why. I'm just going to have to switch to it. This was just in case I ran out. So, but I like to, have, like I said last week, I like to have a little bit more of my mat showing. So I do a quarter of an inch between my mats, my mat sizes. Some people like to do an eighth of an inch, which is pretty, but you don't get to see as much as much of the um, mat. I'm trying to get this so I can get it into the camera view more. I forget that I'm not teaching a class at home. I'm gonna actually do a couple of these. And you just run your stamp and seal along the edges. Just pretend this is the stamp and seal. So we'll mat these two onto the next two. And like I said, I will give you the instructions on how to make this card. Because really is simple, even though my new friends are intimidated by it. I would be too if I was a new stamper. 
I probably wouldn't have found it real simple. But I've only been doing cards for five years, so it's not a long time. January um, 3rd or 5th, I can't remember which, is my five-year anniversary. And Megan's making cards, too, so she's over there. We're using up our old um, noisy snails. So that, because I have bought several of the um, new ones on my next order for us to use. And I have refills, but I don't want to waste this one. It's just some of it, for some reason, is giving me a hard time. I'm probably pushing down too hard because that's what you used to have to do, and now you don't have to push down hard at all. Sometimes it goes back on itself. That's why I'm just touching it a little bit like that. Yeah, I can tell because it's gliding. And see how quiet it is? If you don't hear Megan doing hers in the background right now, it's nice and quiet. And that noise is Meg's snail, so the difference is amazing, and I love this one so much better. She's laughing at me. No. I went to put the card on, and I realized I forgot to put the trim on. She made a mistake. Shocking, I know. Megan's Megan's one of my downlines. She's uh, only been doing cards for um, two years. Yeah, two two years. Just a couple of years. And she's pretty amazing at doing cards already. So, like I said, I always say I brag about Megan all the time. She works at the library, but so she does crafts at the library. She's not a children's librarian. She's actually had a circulation, but they do um, displays for the walls and windows, and she's in charge of um, some of the employees getting their displays done. So she's around crafts a lot. And she just hit 15 years at the library this year, so. She used to do children's um, programming. But she was going to bring home the seashell book and we both forgot. I forgot to have mine. Oh, she has it in her work bag at work. Right near her desk. Isn't that nice? <laughs> but I love this card. And like I said, I do have some simple cards for my to show you for the um basic crafter, you know, the one that's just beginning, because I teach from beginners to experts, and for some reason I've just gotten myself into wanting to do a lot of fancy fold cards, 
And I've been looking and looking on the for instructions on how to make this, and I finally found them because it's an old method. I didn't know what the name was. So when it's a fourfold, unfold, it's kind of like no wonder I couldn't find it. You can see I'm not perfect when I do my cards either. But if you cut, get them lined up, they should be able to. So then it just folds up. And it's a very beautiful card and I'm going to be putting the for you on here. But I want to decorate it a lot more than that. So... These should be dry now, and I wanted to show you, I did do them in yellow to show you we have, this is what the embossed, just in plain looks like, so if you can see that. And then we also have another one that you can use, we have right now, you can see a little starfish in there, it's called seabed, and it has coral and the different seagrasses, that one would match. Um, that's the current folder we have now. That would match. And I don't have the um, new um, stamp and emboss machine yet. I'll be getting it, but I have two big shots, so I'm just waiting. I'm ordering the small one this time. But all you have to do for... Um, oh, so the reason I was telling you that is that's why I put down the name of the... Um, well, DD stands for my, me, so I know it, no one can say, you know, at the if they come and they have the same one, they don't get theirs mixed up. And then um, blue plate is the plate I have to use or whoever's using it has to use. And you just line it up. You could see all the pieces and you hold it in place. And then I'm just gonna slide over here with my boot plate and my embossing machine. And I'll emboss that. You only need one pass through it. And it really makes a big difference in what the shells look like. See, here they are just flat, and now you can see them embossed. So I'm going to emboss the second one because these are the shells I want to use for the book. So I'll be trimming them out so you'll see how easy it is to do some fussy cutting. So I hope everyone had a happy Christmas. I know Megan and I did. It was just the two of us and our three cats. And Megan is a very good cook, and she's taken over most of the cooking, or right now, pretty much all of the cooking. And uh, she made us French toast breakfast and sausage and... Um, fresh fruit for breakfast. It was so good. And we were so full we didn't eat until dinner time, which she made a ham and our traditional Christmas dinner is ham and um, pineapple and raisin sauce. And this was her first time cooking a ham and it's so good. Yesterday we had ham salad and now the ham's in the freezer waiting to be with the ham bone waiting to be made into um, ham and bean soup. 
so we get we've had um, several meals out of it. I'm just going to snip this here because I don't use that, and I smooth off my edges. I want to make sure I'm in the camera. Again, when you're scrapbooking, paper crafting of any kind, you move, you don't want to um, move your, you want to move your paper, not your scissors. You know, you don't want to go crunch, crunch, crunch with the, your scissors. You'll get a much smoother surface. And then turn this piece up. So that's one shell I'll be using. And then snip, snip, snip. And then uh, the grass. I know I can only use that side, so. So for New Year's, our tradition is Chinese food, or New Year's Eve, our tradition is Chinese food, and Meg wants to um, make it all this year, she said, because first of all, I'm allergic to uh, soy, and that pretty much cuts out a lot of the Chinese food. And we can use um, coconut aminos, it's called, and it tastes similar to soy sauce, not exactly. Um, my friend Sarah tried it for her. She wanted to make um, a steak that she likes to make when I was there. And I said, well, if you use the coconut aminos, it, it should taste the same. And it wasn't salty enough for them for what they're used to. So the soy aminos are not as salty. And I'm like, well, next time we'll know, just add more salt when you make it. So I'm kind of excited because we've made a few dishes before, but we haven't made an entire buffet type meal that <laughs> we usually get. So we'll be having Chinese food for several days, which doesn't bother me at all. We love Chinese food. So she's going to make some chop suey, chicken chop suey. We like chicken, so be chicken chop suey and some chicken chow mein. It's not chicken chop suey, it's chicken chow mein that she makes. Um, some fried rice, some we have an air fryer because she's a pampered chef um, oh, demonstrator. I don't know what they're called. Um, but she sells pampered chef as well. So we have an air fryer. And so we had a French fries and potato chips yesterday, which is nice because Potatoes have high potassium, and I'm low potassium. I have to take potassium supplements. So I prefer not to take supplements. I prefer to eat the foods to get healthy. And so she's she's going to make some uh, chicken fingers in it and um, some egg rolls. 
Egg rolls are one of our favorite things. I can feel like the sound of music. So this is what's called fussy cutting. And I wouldn't be doing all of it if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to use them, use the pieces, because it does take a lot of time. So I don't know, what do you, what are your favorite Chinese dishes? Or what do you guys, what are your um, plans for, or traditions for New Year's Eve? I know when the kids were little, we used to do um, the same Chinese food, but we did, also did, um, ice cream sundaes. We kind of eliminated the ice cream sundaes when we're watching our calories and the good thing with um, the air fryer is um, we're doing Weight Watches and the Weight Watches that we're on is um, the purple plan and potatoes are free. So our potatoes uh, that we had, our potato chips that she made and our uh, french fries were completely free yesterday because they only use a little bit of um, oil. So we probably had to count one point and they were homemade, they were so good. And she did, a few weeks ago, a chicken she was making in there. She was taking it out, and it was it was rolling, and she went to catch it and should have just let it drop because she ended up with second-degree burn on her, hand, on her arm, but it looks good now. Because even though, you know, you don't see the oil or anything, it's still a very hot surface. So we had gone, Sunday we went to my daughter's and seen my two little, li they're little, I call them. My granddaughter's taller than I am. One of them is. The other one's getting there. <laughs> my two granddaughters and only got to see one of my grand new grandkitties. They just got some kittens. Um, Lillian bought, rescued some kittens for her birthday with her birthday money. Tobias and Mistletoe. The Christmas tree was already taken down. And I'm like, oh, wow, you've already taken your Christmas tree down. They get a real tree. <laughs> and, and she says, yeah, kitty mischief. The kittens are only four months old, so they had a ball with the Christmas tree. <laughs> and she was tired of having to keep them out of it. She sent me a picture of uh, mistletoe in the uh, tree, and it. she actually looked like she was an ornament. She was so cute. She looks like like a tiny version of our Mia kitten. Our Mia is um, not a kitten. She's actually eight years old now. It snuck up on us that our cats are five and eight. Because uh, Mistletoe and Tobias are um, litter mates, and we have Mia and Murphy that are litter mates. And she was saying how uh, big Tobias was, and we were looking at this little tiny kitten and saying, he's not very big, and she's like, he's so much bigger than Mistletoe, and 
We're like, yeah, that happened with Murphy, too. And she goes, well, it's strange with litter mates. And I'm like, not really, because uh, Mia weighs only like 13 pounds and Murphy weighs 23. So I don't know if Mia was the runt or not, but she sure is small compared. Well, she's not small, but. Because they're part Maine Coon, my cats are. And then we have a four-year-old that is an orange tabby. And I think he's really skinny because I look at the other ones. and But he's very long and sleek. He weighs about nine pounds. Okay. All done fussy cutting. So let's decorate this up nice and pretty. It's the reason I'm only making two cards today because it's taking a long time to do this one. Oh, shoot. I know I was going to leave one of them not. Nah but uh, that's okay I am going to put the friends on this back piece I'm going to pull in I was going to leave one uncut and put it on here but I forgot so I'll just use put the friends on the end I do want to see how I put it on the other card because I really liked how that came out. And the like seashell, so I'll kind of cut that. Yeah, friends are like seashells you collect along the way. I really like the sayings in this. Um, all the sayings I'm using on this card are from the um, stamp set. I want to get it over too far. Well, I want to put the greenery. So hard to tell because it's shiny. Which side is which? You don't have to glue every piece, but you want to get some of it. Good thing about glue, you can about using the glue, you can um, lift the piece up a little bit. Don't know if I'm going to, yep, it's going to go perfect right there. Then I'll put this long spiral shell. quiet now because Megan's left for work. And the cats were in here earlier getting all over everything but they're behaving now. They're sleeping. Like I said, we have three of them and they're walking all over the table and
just getting into everything. I had these up here closer to the piece that I used, so I want to put my little conch shell up like that. And then, let me see. I have a starfish. It comes with, the sweet comes with stickers, so I want to use a starfish sticker because I didn't cut a starfish out, so. And I like starfish. So I can add that starfish right there. Okay, that's one. I know I'm going backwards, but I did want to get that one. And then this is the linen um, braided. And I only want a little piece because um, this one, not knowing where I'm placing everything, it's just random. And I do love the mono glue, it's the all-purpose glue. Um, you are unique and completely amazing. I'm going to add my anchor here. So what I do for this linen thread is I just stretch it so it looks like it's been... Um, Almost like a fishnet. We had a stamp set with the fishnet, but it's not in. Uh, it's not current anymore, so I didn't want to use something that you couldn't buy if you wanted to reproduce this. And you just glue that down a little bit. And the anchor is from the um, Lighthouse stamp. And I did take keep everything out here. Let me with the sea with the um, seashells. It's called sailing home. It's one of the few um, stamp sets that I use to. These um, frames that I'm using on my sayings, like I said, all the sentiments I used from this, from the um, seashells stamp set, but the um, frames that I used are um, from. It's a little. the um so sensational which is a has all the different squares uh rectangles and i used a couple other stamp sets i forgot to put greenery on this so we'll give a little green on the top that's why i like this little curl from the original I'm just thinking along the way. My fingers are getting sticky, so they pulled it up. I always use my hand just to press it down like that. And then I'm going to take a little sea blue seashell. 
I'm going to give a little tiny curl to one of the other I used this on one of my other cards. I did the same technique because this is going to be a thick card. So whoever gets this card, it'll come in a yellow envelope. I won't sign it so that you can give it to whoever you want or you can keep it for yourself. I will put, I will show you where, because I didn't put, I didn't cut the white piece out for it. So right here, I'm trying to make it look like an open um, oyster. And then the sweet also comes with these little opal, they call them opal rounds. And they're. They're very um, sparkly, and I'm going to put it in to look like a pearl. I wish they were more opaque, so it did look more like a pearl. So that's your unique and completely amazing. That's why I, I wanted to do that one with the pearl. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Happy birthday. Ooh, happy birthday might have to be trimmed. Love you to the beach and back. Okay. Love you to the beach and back. We're going to put down. Because happy birthday, I'll be putting on an angle. Let me get my green. I did cut extra greenery out of soft sea foam. So that I could specifically use it for this card. I actually could have cut a little wooden post, it would have been cute. to make one of the signs look like a post. And I think I'm going to use another one of these that's going to cover my greenery. Let me... I do need a big one. Move it to the beach and back. I can cut the bottom off. Or maybe I can just, yeah. Because people find broken shells all the time, so. I like the shape of this one, but it's going to go off the card a little bit. And this one, that one didn't get embossed. That's kind of big. Just looking for different colors here. You see, I know that there's some pink stickers. They're brighter pink than I used, but It'll look very nice on our card. We'll add that. And I know there's a blue 
these are the stickers that come with the suite. So I'll add a few of them and put a starfish. I like them all to connect. Really like that pink conch shell. I'm kind of covering up, so it's gonna add another one. I'll add it on this side where I'm gonna be cutting off the bottom of that. So Turn it right off there. I don't think it'll stay, so I'm just gonna let it float up here. I just like it so much, I want to use it somewhere. <laughs> Okay, and then happy birthday, girlfriend, to happy birthday to my beautiful girlfriend. So, this is nice for a guy to give a girl or a girl to give a girl. I would give this to my best friend, Sarah. She's beautiful. I find her beautiful to me. Again, I forgot the greenery. I'm not doing so well with my greeneries here. So I'm gonna add it. Sarah is um, my number one downline. And then I have, I have four downlines right at the moment um, on my team. And one more and I get to move up to uh, Silver Elite. But I love my team. I give them Christmas gifts and birthday gifts and Give them gifts at um, our team meetings for top sales and anniversary gifts for their anniversary from when they joined. And um, I'm very good to my team because they make me happy. I really like my team. And so... Their Christmas gifts are a little late this year because I ordered them something. I don't want to say in case they're watching. And um, it was delivered to the wrong address and the person apparently kept it because it was not delivered back to the place I ordered it from. So I had to reorder them. And um, it was a $50 order between the six people that I bought it, purchased it for, because I got a couple other craft friends I ordered it for. And um, they were pre the company was good. They, it was an Etsy company, and they um, worked well with me. They gave me, um, I want to add a starfish to the top of it here because it looks lonely on the top. I'll put a star in the sky. And then on the front was my two you. I, I had a couple other little sayings. They were small skinny sayings. I'm so happy I found you. I love that. That would have been nice. And wishing you the very best. 
so happy I found you. I wonder if I could put my starfish up a bit. Now it's going to be good right there. Looks like I got cat hair here. That would have been nice to... Now I got cat hair on it. <laughs> My black cat kept getting on the table today. I was getting so mad at him. Still gonna add it in here because I like it. Almost done this one. Time. Mm. It's gonna be a long video. I guess I won't make the second card, I'll just show it to you. Because I do have the sample made. This one I didn't have the sample made up. I'm so happy I found you. And if I can get it, was it under? Oh no. Sorry. I just said that my chair was sliding down. And then for the front, I had that special little saying. That I have misplaced. Where did it go? One on this side somewhere. I glued it and I put it on this side. Okay, well, I'm not going to finish the front because I have that special saying that says for you. So you can cut that get here it is. This one I'm going to have to put under a book to let it dry or tie it with a ribbon. So it has so many elements in it. Let's see if we can put some greenery. Should have put some glue on that. I'm just going to steal some from here. See what I'm doing? I'm taking it from the back of this. So I can add some greenery. Because I really don't want to hide my... Um, sea urchins. I really love that. And I'll take... One of these pink conch shells because I love them so much. And I'll put it right on the end here. And I think that looks good. So here's their card and it actually opens up just like that. And on the back you can put a white piece of paper which I'm going to do for you and I'll put some more little greenery and probably some sticker and um, a saying because it's a birthday card and so you can write your message to them and it probably needs a ribbon I'll tie it with 
just this, this thin ribbon and a bow. And it'll finish the card. So there's one. Sorry it took so long to make. This one I was going to show you how we, I made it, but again, I'll put the instructions on my website um, and a link to it on on um, Facebook is, uh, and on um, YouTube. So here's the second card. Very easy. I use this <laughs> sea urchin paper, and I didn't put... I didn't decorate the inside yet, which will just have the the white um, saying. And actually, I didn't put any of the insides in yet. This is um, friends are like seashells, so you collect them along the way. Again, this was the first one I made. And this is not using that paper. This is just using Whisper White and then um, using Wink Stella over it. So I like how that came out very much. This one I just made this morning. Um, well, I cut it out yesterday, last night, but I want I put it together this morning. And I like the tone on tone um, in bell, um, embossing on it. And then um, there's a legend about um, sand dollars, and I forget what the legend is. I know I, if you break it apart, doves are supposed to fly out, but it's a it's a very long poem written about it. I bought my daughter a, a sand dollar necklace a couple of years ago at a craft fair and then I looked up the legend and I printed out the poem for her to give it to her for Christmas um but so there's the um, another one that's the third fourth one and this one is a special one that I made that's going to be a valentine's one because it says I love you to the beach and back and it's a different different type of valentine's day card not your usual pinks and everything. It just has a little bit of pink. I'll probably add that little pink conch shell <laughs> on it because I do like that. Maybe I'll put it right over here. Um, let's just do that now. Let's see if I can get one off. So I believe you get six either three or six sheets of stickers um let's see i don't want to ruin the look doesn't even look like it oh nope doesn't look like it has a spot to go i'm very specific about my cards so this one i'm making to put into um the shop that we sell our cards at. So this is this time I actually have five more cut out because it takes six cards to fill up one of our spaces. So this will be um, for sale at Revived. So this no one will be able to get this. Um, so I have actually four cards. So the first four people that comment that they shared the, my video will get one of the cards. And if you have um, a pick, let me know so but i will go by in order of who comments first thank you and now bring this back up well, if i can hi hi denise and rebecca and diane i hope you enjoyed today's video um, I just wanted to remind everybody about our bingo. We're having a bingo um, game and making cards at the same time. So I'll be sending everybody their little packet they need to make the cards. And we'll make the cards together. They're going to be easy cards. So don't worry. You, anybody can make them. My nine-year-old granddaughter can make them. 
Um, there's a 20 person limit. It's going to be held on January 29th, which is a Friday night from, uh, I believe from six to nine. Yes. From six to nine, it's going to be on zoom. Your, um, payment is due by January 14th. Our, um, so that we can get the products, um, and get them together, put the instructions and everything together, and then ship them to you so that you have them in time. Um, and right now, one of the products we wanted to use is out of stock as of now, but hopefully we'll be able to order it. Otherwise, we'll have to um, send you something else. I do have a replacement in mind. Um but it's twenty four ninety nine. All you do is go on our um, website or our, our Be Happy um, Cards and Crafts, and it's B E E. Remember, like the B um, on Facebook page. There's an event set up. Just click on the event, and you can pay that by um, January fourteenth. And it's the hydrangea hills, which is the uh, hydrangea paper that I used last week. Um, you'll get a sample of every piece of the paper, a six by six, and then um, some cardstock that can go with it. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and you learned some new new things. And I'll see you next week at. 1230. I'm sorry, I got on a little early today. So hi, Linda. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.